So, um, Prophet had prophesied my business would flourish. Mm -hmm. When I came down here, uh, we met in Chicago, it was a year ago. Since then, my business had went from one employee to 47 employees. <laughs> hey. And he said I would be able to have a million dollar company um, in a year. Uh. And that's true. So we're now just hit that. We're putting out over 100000 a month in payroll. Hey. And that's in nine months. And it came from an accident, a phone call. A lady called me by accident. Uh. Well, it wasn't an accident, but she said it was. And she was calling a different area code when my phone rang. Uh. And contracts just came. And we had more coming. And then a man of God here said, um, I had a, a gift in me, an anointing in me. And he said, we're going to be operating on a different level. Uh. And then... I began to pray for people in the next meeting we had the anointing was so strong a lady came out of a wheelchair and a lady was legally blind uh, this is in the catholic church um, saint uh, alfonso's in zionsville uh, indiana and she had 20 percent vision and i prayed and didn't even know she had uh, uh, was blind and i was going to the next one and she said she could see and in the same service the lady had a tumor it shrunk and then we went to St. John's downtown, another Catholic church. And I had a dream that I took off my jacket and put it on the ground. And it happened. And we have it on video. A lady had stepped on a jacket and the power of God hit her. Another person, the power of God hit them. And it all came. The gift got stirred up tenfold from the last encounter I had with them. Jesus. He prophesied. He said the gift was going to grow and grow and grow. And the, the healing anointing was going to come. And I walked out of faith. He prayed for the gift of faith on me. And that's what I was lacking. And the gift of faith increased so much. So much. Uh, even when he's speaking here, I can feel the spirit. Amen. I can feel that God is raising this man to be one of the people in this country to do mighty miracles. It's a gift of miracles in this place. Gift of miracles. Today, we are increasing it more. We are increasing it more. So I feel the presence of God. You can stand this. Because we increase this ability.
<laughs> How do you feel now? Light. Light. Because <laughs> that's to increase the impartation. It happens. It's a promotion in the spirit. Amen. <laughs> Greetings in the name of Jesus. Please, can you tell us your name and where you're coming from? My name is Dr. Timothy Foy. I am uh, coming from Indianapolis, Indiana. Wonderful. Please, can you share the experience you had with the servants of God? Oh, my experience was awesome. was outstanding. Um, this is actually my second time seeing them. I saw them last year, July 2023 in Chicago. Uh, Prophet Sermono prophesied about my company that it would grow. He actually said um, by the end of the month, um, my company was going to double in size and it would be a million dollar company within a year. Um, now, I was kind of leery of that prophecy, even I believe the man of God, because he prophesied only on the, 20, on the 30th and we only had 31 days. <laughs> but sure enough, when I go to back to my car and I'm driving back home and I get a voicemail, and the voicemail is from a, um, a business contact that said, hey, Tim, we have an opportunity for you, for your company, to get 100 additional sites. And I gladly accept it. And that prophecy came about the same time that literally that the voicemail hit my phone. So that was number one. Number two, uh, BJ McAneesa, he prophesied that um, I had a healing anointing, a healing gift. Uh, that miracles are already working, and he said uh, he was going to impart to gift of faith and serve the gift. Um, that was in July. Uh, we had another meeting in October, and that meeting, uh, I prayed for a lady that was legally blind, 20% vision. God restored her sight. Um, another lady named Sandy was in a wheelchair, and I prayed for her, and the power of God healed. She was not able to walk for 18 months. She got up, and she walked uh, across the room. Um, I actually did a whole video on this on YouTube. Um, so it, it was outstanding. The anointing stayed with me. Um, and I was seeking the Lord, asking about direction, where to go, if it's in uh, the Catholic Church. Uh, doors have opened for the Catholic Church. And I was having dreams about going and preaching and teaching and praying for the sick in the Catholic Church. I come here and that, that vision, and I didn't tell the man of God anything. He confirmed it 100%. He said, that's where I was called to go. He said, the anointing was going to grow so much. Uh, any of the, the healing anointing, I was going to travel throughout the nations. And uh, my, the, the, the direction I was headed was ordered by him, was ordered by God. Um, and then he, he, he literally um, was about 10 feet from me. He waved his hand and I was there to receive. And one second passed, two seconds, and I felt electricity go down my body. And I wake up and bam, I'm on the floor. Like, how did I get here? And I'm up uh, or, or trying to like get up and I couldn't. During that time, I felt like my stomach stirring, like a washing machine. I felt visions, I seen things um, that I'll share maybe on a different date. Um, and then he comes back over and says, stir up the gift, stir up the gift. And I heard in the spirit, you've been promoted. So I, these two young guys helped me out. Well, young, we're the same age, but <laughs> they helped me out. And one guy, for some reason, I just held onto his hand a little longer and he starts shaking and he, bolts across 20 feet, slams in the chairs. You literally would have thought a linebacker from the NFL was charging at him full speed and hit him. And I looked at my hands, I'm like, wow, this is what a promotion is, Lord? Um, and Magnesia said, that's gonna be the norm in your ministry. That's gonna be the norm. He Amen. said, the, the mighty hand of God is gonna be on you. And he blessed me and, and it was anointed that day. So I walk in faith. Um, about the, the property, the prophecy they both gave me. Um, both of the prophecies they gave me was to the T. Um, everything from my father that he prophesied uh, to, to my wife that he prophesied was to the T. Um, about the business was to the T. Um, I mean, God is using those guys. The hand of God is on their lives and they're using it. If you have not spirits a one on one, you need to come and check it out. And not just check it out, receive it and actually apply what they said out of faith. Okay. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Any other words of encouragement you wanted to add? Oh yeah. Read your Bible, fast and pray. You know, many are called but few are chosen. God will he'll call a lot, but he's only gonna pick those that have that empty themselves. You can't People say, Lord, use me, fill me up. You can't fill up a cup that's full. You have to empty yourself out, and then God can use you. He can, we're just vessels, and when you become an empty vessel is when he can actually use you. 
Okay. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. That's my sister. It's your sister. This one? Yeah. You say what? My father. You said he was sick. Right? I told your father is sick. Yeah. yeah. This man came to see the one on one. Yes. And I told him that, hey, I see your father is sick. Don't want to kill him. So I'm happy. Father, yeah. My father, mother, brother, my sister. Your sister's birthday. Right, come here. Angie, come here. Where's your mother? Right here. No, no, no. Your mom is here. Yeah, about the whole family. The whole family is here. My God, where do you live? Indianapolis, sir. Huh? Indianapolis. Two hours. Three hours. Three hours. Three hours. Three hours. Three hours. Three hours. They all stay in Joliet here. Where do they stay? About Close 30 back. minutes here. Yeah. Oh, they must come to church this week. So I don't want to kill people here. Really. Pastor, this woman has come to church now. Let's just speak. Amen. Yeah. I went to this man one on one. I told him that I'm see your father is about to die. They don't want to kill him. And God wants him to live long. Amen. So, that's what I told yes, him. Yes, you did. Huh? Yes, you did. And you came here by revelation so that you save the whole family. Amen. So I'll pray for the Father. In Jesus' name. I didn't know who he was 60 days ago, and I seen him in a dream praying for me. God is amazing, isn't it? <laughs> you don't know somebody and you dream about that person. Yes, I told him about you 30 days ago. Yeah. I want to go see this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear me? Okay, isn't it? It's okay. It I'm sure God will give him my spirit today. <laughs> Because I'm about to pray for you. I'm fulfilling the dream. Yes, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, my dear. Jesus. Jesus. Take it, take it, take it. Right there, right there, right there. There it is. Quickly, 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 quickly. Take it! Take it! My God. Take it! My God. He's in here. It's a spirit of depression I got to break off of you today. I see you grieving next to a casket and I hear the name Adam I don't know who you are who's Adam to you he was my fiance when did he pass New Year's Day in 2020 and ever since then I see a demon that has been grabbing you and keeping you and you've been going in a spiral of depression to the point where you couldn't even leave your room and you're on medication is this the truth and you're not crazy it's a spirit actually in your house and it came in through that door but I'm gonna break it off for you tonight in the name of Jesus 
right now. Every unclean spirit, every unclean spirit that's attached to this woman, come off of her right now in the name of Jesus. You have no authority here and I bind you in the name of Jesus Christ. Come off of her.